the witching board. Popular paranormal live streamer Ricky Velasquez and his wife Liz travel to an allegedly haunted house somewhere out in the middle of nowhere in Mexico. Now apparently the story of this place is truly dark and disturbing because Ricky will only mention that the house was once home to an extremely large family named Hernandez. Apparently some tragic and unspeakable event occurred at the Hernandez home and most of the family, including many women and children, lost their lives. Now, whatever did happen, apparently it was so horrific that many people still leave candles at the house to pay their respects to this day. So after exploring the downstairs, Ricky and Liz head up to the second floor. And that's when they begin to experience something that makes their blood run cold. Ricky is broadcasting their exploration live on YouTube. And as he reads comments from his live stream audience, this happens. Hola. No The couple hears very strange sounds from somewhere on the top floor. Banging, moaning, and even what sounds like the voice of a young child. No, no, no. So now, in an attempt to make contact with the dead, Ricky and Liz decide to use a Ouija board. And as you might have guessed, it did not go well. During the Ouija board session, the couple continues to hear disturbing sounds coming from the house. Then something happens that absolutely scares the shit out of them. ¿Estás aquí con nosotros? Liz, muévete de aquí. Muévete. Muévete. While using the Ouija board, Liz asks, Are you here with us? To which a terrifying little voice replies, Yes. Ricky believes that he hears the voice coming from right behind him. So he looks through a clothing rack that is nearby and sees the horrifying, deathly pale face of a woman. The couple has had enough and they just run out of there as fast as they can. Now, keep in mind that all of this was broadcast live on YouTube. So whether it's real or not, it would have been much harder to fake. But whether it is real or fake, the footage is definitely very creepy. But if you want to take a look at the video for yourself, you can watch this entire exploration over on the YouTube channel, Ricky Velasquez. Get me out of here. A group of friends are having a great time in Torreon, Mexico when they decide to go on a very popular tourist attraction, the Cristo de la Noas cable car ride. The cable car provides beautiful scenery of the city as it transports tourists up the mountain and through the streets of Torreon. With such a spectacular bird's eye view of the city, the group of friends can't help but take a video to capture the moment. But what happens on this particular ride is very disturbing. <laughs> What sounds like the voice of a little girl can be heard screaming in terror, and the group has no idea where the voice is coming from. Now, after the video was shared on Facebook, many shocked viewers believe they hear the girl say, quote, 
Get me out of here. I feel alone. <laughs> but unfortunately, I don't speak Spanish. So if you do, please let me know what you think the girl is saying down in the comments. Did the group accidentally capture a paranormal event on camera? You decide. <laughs> We need scary videos. So if you see a scary video that you think would be great on the top five, email us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Seven days. Popular Japanese paranormal investigators Tomo and Hiro from the YouTube channel Omagatoki Film are contacted by a desperate landlord of an allegedly haunted apartment. The landlord claims that just over 10 years ago, a family of three rented the apartment. One night, the father had an unexplained psychotic break and took the lives of his wife and child inside the apartment. Their bodies were found hidden in the closet. The father went on the run and he was never found. Since the horrific incident, the owner finds it impossible to get tenants to stay in the apartment for more than a week. He says that within seven days, all of them abruptly decide to just move out. So, the landlord challenges the Omagatoki team to live in the apartment for one week to figure out just what it is about the property that causes tenants to refuse to stay. Investigator Tomo accepts the challenge and decides to live in the apartment alone for seven days. A static camera records Tomo as he sleeps and spends time in the bedroom where the tragedy took place ten years earlier. <laughs> ヒロ Tomo spends the first two nights and nothing really happens. But on the third night, at around midnight, Tomo notices something very odd in the bathroom. いや、なんか、さっき見て。俺なんか、A strange shadow can be seen in the window, but Tomo can't find anything outside that could be casting the unexplained shadow. Then the next night, night number four, and things get a bit weirder. <laughs> The shadow from the night before has now disappeared as mysteriously as it came. But when Tomo goes to bed, he's disturbed several times while trying to sleep as he keeps getting the eerie feeling that someone is in the room with him, standing near the closet. Cut to nights five and six, and now Tomo starts to complain that he hasn't been able to sleep as he keeps hearing unexplained footsteps, and even more terrifying, the unexplained mumbling voice of a woman. Now it's day seven. Tomo is exhausted and considers quitting the seven day challenge and just going home even though there's only one day left. 
Eventually, he decides that he can tough it out and stays for the seventh and final night. The investigator wakes up the next day refreshed and happy. He says he finally got a great night's sleep in the apartment. And this is when things get weird. While Tomo is at work, Hiro goes through the footage that was recorded on the final night of the challenge. What he finds leaves him speechless because something did happen that night. Something that Tomo has no recollection of. Something truly chilling. In the video, Tomo seems completely out of it as he grabs the camera and sits in front of the closet. The video footage begins to glitch as Tomo creepily smiles at the camera and then inexplicably seems to just start crying. The footage begins to glitch and loop, repeating over and over as the terrifying face of a woman seems to peer out at the camera from inside the closet. Tomo says he doesn't remember anything about the incident and until seeing the bizarre footage, he believed that he had slept soundly throughout the night. So could it be that the investigator captured the spirit of the woman whose life was taken inside the bedroom? The woman whose body was found inside this same closet? Let me know what you think. You can watch this entire two-part investigation and many more scary videos over on the YouTube channel, Omega Toki Film into the woods. So it's another week and another mysterious video. This time I was emailed about a very old video without a source that's been making the rounds on social media. In the video, a group of friends are camping in the middle of the forest. Late into the night, they start to hear strange sounds coming from the dark woods. Now in what is probably a terrible decision, they decide to grab their flashlights and go to investigate. What happens next? is downright chilling.
they search for the source of the creepy sounds, the group spots what appears to be some kind of creature with glowing eyes hiding in the tree line. Shocked online viewers have pointed out that even with the potato quality old video, you can still see that the strange unidentified creature actually appears to blink before it runs off into the woods, adding just a tiny bit more credibility to this very odd footage. But without a source, once again, we'll never know the full story on this old video. So is it real or just an elaborate hoax? As always, you decide. Getting your foot in the door. Now, if you've watched this channel for any length of time, you know that I've featured a ton of Saudi door kicking ghost hunters. These include Adventure Allah, Yaza 1200, Abdullah Al Ambari, and the guy we'll be focusing on in this video, Adventure Jasim. Now, if you're not familiar with the Saudi ghost hunters I've featured, then here's a quick tutorial. Number one, they love hunting jinns. Hey, jinn. Ya jinn. Ya jinn. Akhir marra. Number two. The jinns often seem to throw large objects at them. And finally, number three, and most important of all, Saudi ghost hunters love kicking down spooky doors. But now recently I was sent a video that reveals something new and absolutely terrifying. That's right. Apparently, these spooky doors are fighting back now. So, just a heads up if you're a door kicking Saudi ghost hunter or you just aspire to be one, you be careful out there. <laughs> If you're new to the channel, honestly, my videos come out at weird times. So subscribe and hit the little bell notification icon so you never miss a video. Follow me on the socials and hopefully I'll see you back here for the next video.